All right, my curious cats. I am Curious Alley Cats, and I will do a general tarot today. Um, so, yeah, let's get the cards out. And this is a general read for the collective. So what I will say is don't take the tarot uh, seriously. It's just for entertainment purposes. And what I tend to do is, is just shuffle, see what comes out and take whichever cards come out. And we will be asking the tarot, the spirits, guides, angels, elves, pixies, aliens, or animals, spirit animals, spirit guides, and everyone to focus on direct messages today. So if you're here, you are welcome to listen in. And if it resonates for you, then it doesn't. Some parts might, some parts might not. And uh, leave a rest if it doesn't. And if it doesn't at all, that's fine. Um, and I can also do um, a uh, private read, which would be at, at a rate... Or I could also do go through the whole zodiac. But this, I will say, is a general read, please, for the collective. So I'm just going to start shuffling. And I'll lay some cards down. And then see what happens. Hope you have been enjoying the autumn. Leaves are beautiful. And we're coming into the winter soon. So we have first card came out, Ace of Wands. Put the cards down here and then I will just read them as I go. go. Ace of Wands. Okay, so yeah, Spirits, Guides, Angels. Do we have clear some messages up for us today, please, for the collective? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands on the throne. Hope you're all in good spirits. And you haven't been enjoying the nature or something nice to eat. Looking after yourself, some of self care, some self love, and all those positive things coming your way. Um, Page of Cups. Okay. Right. Page of Cups. Who's this? The Fool, the Fool. We have the Fool. Right, okay, the full. So we have six of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Keep going. A few more cards, please, for the collective. This is a general read. Oh, we have the moon. The moon. All right. Let's see what comes out next. Some clear, definite messages for the next few days or couple of weeks or so temperance temperance okay so yeah there we go temperance who are these people um i love the way the trees when the wind comes how the leaves just kind of blow off and then i just love crunching and walking in the fallen leaves 
and then the other day I walked on the leaves and a little ladybird came and said hi to me. Um, okay, four. Four of pentacles. Uh, yeah, and I always feel like I've got my spirit animal kind of keeps changing. So at the moment it's been a ladybird. I've had different ones, dragonflies. Um, Cats. Different spirit animals mean different things, so you can look them up. Um, some people might have one spirit animal. Some people kind of could have a couple, but I go through like several. Uh, yeah, so let's keep going. Let's get another couple more cards. And then we can start the read. Right, chariot. Okay, chariot. Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. What else? Ooh, blimey. The world. Look at that. Okay, the world. So, and I always take the bottom of the deck. On the bottom of the deck, we have ten of swords. So, yeah, Ten of Swords, there we go. So, what I am hearing, seeing here is Ace of Wands. Well, Ace of Wands, that's a great start. So, yeah, we are coming into a new beginning then. There's obviously been a death to something because I always feel like the Ten of Swords is similar to the death card in, a, in the sense that um, maybe there had been some... up in the head uh overthinking going on about certain things per certain people certain situations with the moon card there might have been some confusion some not knowing which way to go with making decisions or something like that or choosing the right uh pathway to go whether it be job or friendship or um, choosing another f form of income or choosing or accepting or choosing the right kind of people in your life um, I feel like there might have been some death or maybe somebody could have back even backstabbed you in the back at some point and there has been um, with the uh, moon card here there has could have been a little bit of deception or confusion going on and I feel like um, when your head is clouded it can be extremely draining if certain individuals have been playing some mind games or indeed if you've been feeling up in your head with some stress or anxiety, it's been difficult to think about making the correct decisions for yourself. With the Six of Pentacles, it's all about balance here and uh, where the Temperance card comes into it. It's kind of like, okay, there's death to that because the... Ten of Swords is like a dying and then a rebirth with this holding on to your truth here. We have we are now coming into a situation where you are thinking more clearly and you're going to be thinking more clearly once you have sort of uh you know uh put away this uh pain or built up pain whether that's mental emotional psychological or physical and now you're actually going to take action with the ace of wands this is a very much holding on to your standing your ground sort of taking the bull by the horns and and things are coming into your uh, situation your thoughts um and yeah with the temperance there's going to be more balance here so 
uh, with the confusion that happened with the Ten of Swords and the Moon card here, and maybe there might have been some possible deceptions with certain individuals or somebody who has tried to be a little bit selfish, um, holding on to their... Uh, holding on to not uh, allowing the word I'm thinking of is that they've been a little bit uh, cagey. I feel like that's the word. Somebody may have been a little bit cagey with you um, and holding on to there with this four of pentacles, holding on to... Um, being vulnerable with you um but that being said with the six of uh coins six of pentacles and the four of coins four of pentacles here you are coming into abundance now and you are holding on to that abundance whether it is self-love so you're choosing yourself and you're choosing the right people who are genuine who aren't um just trying to just take or give you breadcrumbs i feel like that is a thing of the past where you are no longer accepting breadcrumbs so at the same time those uh who have been cagey or shady with uh opening up to you um at the same time you're not allowing that to happen so you are just coming into making the correct decisions with the temperance there's going to be a balance of emotional psychological and physical health coming in so um you are taking action with uh whatever's been going on physically or mentally you are um making the correct decisions to nurture yourself so here we have the uh ace of wands with the queen of wands so you are coming into your own there is a garden here and a sunflower things are looking brighter the sun is shining through the trees there is a little glimmer a glisten when you are looking around and you're taking notice of that little cat here trustworthy cat trustworthy people you were making the right decisions with the right people um and with yourself so we have balance here we have courage to take action to hold on to um love yourself and self-love here there is nurturing with the queen of wands is a nurturing feeling with oneself self-love um and it looks to me with the page of cups and the fool we're taking a leap of faith or somebody is wanting to take a leap of faith with you because we have the page of cups somebody whoever this may be is trying to uh, express themselves more with their emotions and you're opening up more with the right situations the right people with the with the full the full kind of goes hand in hand with this uh ace of wands because the ace of wands it's like taking a leap of faith action so those thoughts and feelings that might have been conjuring up and going round in circles giving anxiety overthinking and you know maybe some of you have been writing ideas down um, to do a certain hobby or to, to do a job or to get into a friendship or a relationship with somebody because we have a new beginning, a new beginning with yourself because that is, this is so similar to the death card, there's death to that and we're coming into our own with this sort of queen of wands and this ace of wands kind of energy here. It's a very 
powerful uh, stepping into your power, holding on to your magic and not allowing the toxic individuals to gaslight or to take away your worth. So you're holding on to your worth uh, with this four of, of pentacles. It's like holding on to your worth, but then at the same time, not putting the walls all the way up because somebody is coming in here quite swiftly and things are happening once you hold on to your power once you hold on to your worth you you're moving forward in the right direction here because we have the world card so um this is like a decision that you are stepping into this sort of holding on to your power holding on to your grace coming into your grace coming into your own and for some of you, you might be exploring the world a little bit and exploring yourself more, uh, trusting yourself and trusting others. And because of that, there's going to be a, a balance here. There's going to be a feeling of clar clarity rather than this confusion or uh, sort of not being able to make certain decisions with friendships with work decisions or with a relationship now you are making a decision you're saying no to the bullshit it's and you are coming into your own right here so yeah that's a beautiful ending to the reading um and yeah but the world card and this queen of uh ones with the ace of wands with the fool it's like somebody is offering you something and, and you're also offering yourself something it's like opportunity it's about taking the chance it's about letting your hair down it's about allowing yourself to try new things whether that's a hobby um or studying or work wise so yeah so that's great and it's something to look forward to now you know the world is sort of at your feet in a good way in a positive way in a in a magical way and the queen of wands is a magical person she's full of light she's full of you know bright yellow light through her chakras or his chakras because this isn't masculine or feminine it's like yin and yang the chakras are being more cleansed we are breathing more we are taking time for ourselves more enjoying ourselves and so yes that is what is happening there is more balance more abund abundance in wealth health and happiness depending on the situation and there are offerings here offerings in either romance offerings in work situations and it's an overall uh, balanced thing going on within yourself now you're going to feel more balanced more secure more safe and more trusting to yourself and certain individuals you're going to be trusting your intuition with the cat here cats are very intuitive so you are very intuitive and you pick up on those energies um energies you know which uh you can eliminate understand the balance of energy when it comes to certain individuals whether that's friendships relationships or work situations um so yeah that's the end of the reading and leave comments like and su subscribe if you want to and have a lovely day curious cats and on another video i am going to be going into uh, talking about narcissistic personality disorder and the trauma bonds and how that works with um, a narcissistic person who 
if anybody is in or has been in a relationship with a narcissist, you may know what I'll be talking about. And we're going to go through the love bombing and the uh, devalue trauma bond uh, dynamic and how all that works. Um, And have a lovely day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your uh, food. Drink water. And... Don't forget to breathe. See you later, alligators.